Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am your host, Stephen Corka, and Juan Farach. And uh, we are here to talk about Thor Ragnarok, the full movie review filled with spoilers, filled with explicit content. Uh, we're fully live, fully uncensored, fully unscripted. And uh, first of all, I want to give a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to our well, YouTube. Well, we're alive. I'm sorry? We're alive. We're not live. We are. Well, we're filming this live. Yeah. We're filming this live, but the version you're going to see is not live, obviously, because we're going to bounce it and then edit it, whatever. But we're not going to edit what you see here is what, what I'm trying to say. But we're just going to add, like, little graphics and stuff like that to it. But anyways, big thank you to everyone that subscribed to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate that. Please continue to spread the love. Watch our shows. Comment. Um, tell us your opinion. Uh, tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Um, uh, forward it to your friends, family, colleagues, and get them to subscribe to. Spread the word. And, uh, and thank you. Thank you again once again yeah, we really appreciate it very much if you are watching this video for the first time and just discovering our channel and are not subscribed we urge you to please subscribe to our channel because uh, uh, we, we like we like what we do here at Atomic Pop right Wonski yep you're, you're super enthused today well maybe we get a lot of subscribers and one day I'll get something free what do you mean hmm? what do you mean maybe like we'll get millions of subscribers and I can have like free shit what like from sponsors? Yeah, like 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 loot crate or something. Yeah, oh. maybe we get a free pop. Sell it. Okay. All right. Well, also we're running a promotion throughout the throughout the. Um, What's the secret word? I can't say what the secret word is yet. I can't say what the secret. When word are we? Is gonna, how's, how's this gonna work? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it at a weird. I'm, I'm just gonna. The secret word is blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Okay. And okay, so listen carefully, watch our show. When you see when you hear the secret word, write it down, keep it in your memory, put it in your phone, text it to yourself, email it to yourself, whatever floats your boat. And go into either one of our locations in Pepper Pines or uh, Miami and uh, tell the secret word to one of our associates and you will get a free gift on us. Um, you should have some like graphics and stuff. So it's like secret word flashing like right here. Um, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do that in post. I don't know, we'll see. But but either way, we're going to tell you the secret where we urge you guys to, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to put the graphic up because that makes it too easy for the people. Well, now it looks, I, I did that to like try to help you out so you could edit something right there and you could add a cool graphic. Now I just look like a fucking idiot. Oh, well, yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, it's cool. But so the secret word, come in and tell it. The first five people that come in with the secret mm -hmm. word get a free gift on us. Minimum value of $10. It might be more, it might, might be just $10, but uh, no less than 10 we'll say that. So anyways, enough of that bullshit talk uh, a lot of great things happening in the movie world and one of them is thor ragnarok the third installment of the thor franchise um i'm just gonna go out and start this one out i liked the movie i i didn't think i was gonna like it i thought i was gonna th think it was a big piece of shit going into this movie there were two things i didn't like one i didn't like the way the movie title looked it reminded me too much of star trek wrath of khan you know thor ragnarok and star trek wrath of khan it looks like Ragnarok ripped off Wrath of Khan, clearly. Whoever the graphic designer is on that, and whoever approved that and didn't see that, maybe they were trying to make the correlation on purpose. Either way, I was like, stop ripping things off. Speaking of ripping things off, it was very colorful, seemed like another space opera with a lot of comedy, reminded me of another Marvel movie we know, Guardians of the Galaxy. And you know what? After seeing Thor Ragnarok, I'm going to say this. They totally took the things that worked about Guardians of the Galaxy and applied them to this movie. Um, way more comedy than the other Thor movies, but you know, it were I, I I overall liked it. We'll get more into detail. One overall, what did you think? I hated the movie. Why? Um, I actually hated it more than Guardians of the Galaxy. But you loved Guardians. The, of the second Galaxy. one. Oh. Which I you know how much I hated that. You one. hated that one, yeah. Um, I hated it. You know, they're, they're, Waititi, which is the director, right? Waititi? I don't know. It's some, he, like... He gave an interview. Some, He's the guy that directed yeah. Flight of the Con some Flight of the Concords. Anyways, um, he had an interview, and he said that he started reading Thor in preparation for this film, and that there was so much, that there was so much meat in Thor that they decided not to read Thor. They decided to look at the art from God of Thunder and uh, some of Kirby's art, 
and they basically took visual cues from the comics but did not read anything at all or make any effort at all to get into what Thor is. And this movie 100% shows that. So you don't like it because you think the movie is not It's not it's not it's not Thor. I mean, I'll agree with that. Listen, I think I think I think the Marvel movies all had its own little standalone thing. Captain America was your war movie, you know, um Iron Man was your movie about your your the, the science. Uh, Avengers is your team movie. Um, you know, Ant Man's your heist comedy movie, and then Thor was like always your 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 fantasy movie. Right. You know, and you know to to be on on par with Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. You know, and if you read the Thor book, which I'm not a big fan of the Thor mm-hmm. book, I'm not gonna lie. You know, he talks. It's like it's very Shakespearean, yeah. You know, which um, Thor one, which was di- directed by Kenneth Branagh, mm-hmm. who also directed Hamlet with Mel Gibson way back in the day, and, yeah. and Kenneth Branagh is actually a great director, great actor. Um, I think he did a great job with Thor one. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't think anyone liked Thor two, uh, yeah. but uh, this guy definitely did abandon the core of the character. I will agree with you uh, with that totally. Uh, what else you got to say about it? Um. I think it just, and we're going to get into the specifics of it. There's a lot of things I hated specifically about it. Now, um, I thought the action scenes were good. The action scenes were great. As they should be, yeah. Yeah. So the action scenes I didn't have a problem with. What I had a problem with was the characters, was a complete disregard for their backstories, who they actually were. And I view this kind of, this movie, um, which the process started with Guardians of the Galaxy, but they were more, they were a little more faithful um, to their characters, I see this as Marvel's way of dumbing down the universe of dumbing down our comic book characters. They're saying there's way too much backstories, there's way too much comic history, so we're just gonna take a shortcut to get to where we want to be. And this movie, I think, was a, an example of Marvel dumbing down their movies. Um, World War Hulk was just completely annihilated, right? The storyline, everything about it. Ragnarok was destroyed. And, and and it goes beyond that. We'll give specific examples, but I mean, you read World I, War Hulk, right? I did not actually. Okay. Uh, well, it, you mean Planet Hulk? Planet Hulk, and then, I did yeah. not read Planet Hulk. But, but what I will say is, is it basically took Planet Hulk, it took Ragnarok, it took Contest of Champions. Yeah. It merged all three of those, which are all big major things. In- but dedicated like two seconds to it. It wasn't like there was no backstory. There's nothing. It's just a way to shortcut to get through those events. And just get to the results of those events without having to explain the events. I, and then with, with characters they don't want to really invest in, like they just really took a bunch of shortcuts with a lot of characters. And that's why they're not characters that you're going to recognize. I mean, I, I think they dumb Thor down. I do agree with that. Like Thor comes off as like your jock. You know, your dumb jock that's strong. And I'm the mightiest. I'm the, yeah. I'm the strongest there is. I'm Thor. You know, like the ladies love me. And then he, and then and then you know he fell on his ass a couple times, ran into a window, I think, you know, like just did a bunch of things that were like, you know, very like tongue in cheek, you know, making fun of him as the character. Um, he wasn't, um, he wasn't anything that idolized by any means. He he wasn't that fantasy hero that that we saw at least in the first two Thors as well as the Avengers movies. Mm-hmm. Um, way more comedic value to him here. But you you brought up Hulk. What'd you think of Hulk? And and his role in this movie, uh, Hulk was completely unnecessary. I agree. I agree. Hulk was just unnecessary. He was there for the, I guess the buddy cop aspect of it with Thor. Yep. Um, also, he's there because I think Marvel took a look at all his properties. They're not allowed to make because of licensing reasons a standalone Hulk movie. Yep. And they said, where can we stick in Hulk? Let's stick him in Thor. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I I. First of all, I thought the CG on Hulk was not that good. No, it was it was the Avengers was better. Yes. The Avengers yeah. Hulk was actually better. Yeah. The 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 Avengers the Avengers Hulk was better. The the Edward Norton Hulk I thought was, was better, better CG. Yeah. I think the I think the Edward Norton Hulk was better. It's the best CG Hulk I've seen. Right. Yeah, in my opinion, you know, he, he looked uh, like um and you know what? Maybe I'm just biased. I'm not a Mark Ruffalo fan. Mm-hmm. I'm just not. I I know why Ed Norton isn't the Hulk, yeah. but he would have been a way better Hulk slash Bruce Banner. Yeah, sure. You know, um, but I I didn't like Hulk. I didn't like the shortcuts with with that they took with um with the whole 
Planet Hulk and and the outcomes of it. Well, the, um, thing, the thing I don't like is like okay, so the last we see him is the end of Age of Ultron, and now he shows up on this planet Sakar, ruled by Jeff Goldblum, the yeah. the Grandmaster, and and all they said is like he blacked out and he just popped up yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the, the Quinjet's in perfectly working order. Right. And not guarded either. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, and then and then this is also the most we've ever seen Hulk talk. Yeah, he talked a lot in any movie. Yeah, it's, a lot. I will say this: it's a little more true to the comic character because Hulk talks more than than he's more than just Hulk Smash, right? Puny Banner. He says more than shit that, than just that. Mm. So in this movie, we really saw the Hulk talk, but um, unnecessary. Just a reason to put him in. I would have enjoyed it more if I didn't know he was going to be there. Yeah, like. Like, if he wasn't in the marketing materials, if he wasn't in the previews or the movie posters, and I just went into this movie thinking I was going to see a Thor movie, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, Thor's like, who am I going to battle? Who's this contest champion? And it turns out to be the Hulk. I'd be like, holy fuck, it's the Hulk. It's right. I, I, I would have enjoyed Hulk being in this movie ten times more, I think. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like Hulk at all. Um, Hello. Loved it. Loved her. Oh, my God. Loved her. First of all, First of all, um, Kate Blanchett needs to keep her hair brunette. She first of all, she looks ten years younger yeah. and way hotter. Yeah, beautiful. Like she looked smoking hot as a brunette. You yeah. know? You see in the in, in the promo stuff now and she's got her blonde hair back, I'm just like, You are not as cute. You need yeah. to get you need to get that jet black hair back, girl. I mean I did hear you sigh when they introduced Hella as Thor's uh, sister. Absolutely, I hate that. Well, in the comics, Hela is Loki's daughter. Well, King, Lo King Loki's daughter. Well, either way. I mean, yeah. So basically, okay. King Loki gets with a uh, with a frost with a frost giant, and Hela is basically his daughter. And then eventually, I guess the Loki that's there now, Hela ends up marrying that Loki. Yeah, I mean, I I I don't like the fact that she's related to Loki and Thor in the cinematic universe, but. The character of Hela, I thought, was executed great. She's unstoppable. That's she, she, that's that's one thing I didn't like. She's there's no way to kill her. But they didn't use a lot she of her powers. She got stabbed. She got burned. She got beat the shit, and she still got back and never bled. She was just unstoppable. But it, this, it's, I think it's another shortcut, like with the Hela character, because um, I've had multiple pe people say this to me: is that it's not just Hela. It's basically a mix of Hela and Angela. And it's a way not to have to pay, I guess, Neil Gaiman if they brought Angela into the universe. And so Hela is going to be this kind Spawn? of mix. Yeah. Okay. Angela, who also happens to be the actual daughter of, uh, Which of they, Odin. They just introduced yeah. that a couple years ago. So fuck yeah. off. Okay. Yeah. That Still. Wasn't, that wasn't gospel till a couple years Still. ago. Still. Yeah. But. Um, so I, I, I hated the whole the whole relationship that Hela had. And the rewriting of, of Odin's history of conquering like she wasn't. Uh, Odin al already inherited the the nine uh, the realms. Like, I, I mean, hated it. I I I mean, we we know why she why she beat the fuck out of Majorner or however you say the hammer's name because she was worthy. The hammer was hers. No. So catching the hammer was no big deal. To well, her. according to the movie. According to the movie, yeah. And um, and what do you think also when when it comes to Hela, like? She killed the Warriors three in like two seconds. Oh, she killed yeah, she killed everyone like that hardcore. Was, but that was that was like the Warriors three didn't even have like they couldn't dodge a knife. Like they're sp they're basically Thor's badasses. Like they're part of his crew. They've been to countless battles and fucking can't dodge a knife. I I was all for it. Look, you, uh. listen, they kept this movie in in two hours time. All right, you cannot make this movie in two hours time if you just don't knock out knock out the people quick. You just got to get them out. Get him out of the way. But don't have him. They didn't have Sif there. D due to scheduling conflicts in the real world. Right, but Sif yeah. wasn't in the movie. That's true. Maybe yes. the Warriors, they could have been out with her. They they could have, yes. But no. But they, to, to make them die the way they did was just... The, the Asian fought a little harder. Yeah, he fought. Yeah, yeah, but the other two... Just like insta-die. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. And in the Thor comic, one of them, I forget what his name is, he's an actual hammer-wielding yeah, guy Yeah, he's a now. badass. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Uh, the red beard. Uh, yeah. Manny? Volstag? Yes, Volstag. Volstag, yes, Volstag, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he died quick. Yeah. Why so I hated that about Why Hela. was he managing the Bifrost? Why wasn't it Hemdow? No, he was just there. He was where, just where, was Hem, there. Where, where was Hemdow? Hemdow was... Isn't he the guy that guards the sword? Yeah. He wasn't even there. I don't know, man. A little plot hole. Anyways. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, they explained in the beginning. Apparently. Oh, yeah. Guess what, we guys? We missed the first 10 we minutes. We missed the first 10 minutes. We didn't see the movie until Thor and Loki were just at Asgard, and they went to New York to... Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Which yeah. Doctor Strange cameo was great. Fantastic. Great. Really, really well done. Good. So you liked Hela. I liked Hela. I did. Next problem we I had. Um, we were talking about Hulk. Uh, Korg. I liked him. He's voiced by the director. They made him like... They, they butchered this character who was actually really important in Planet Hulk. I still liked him. Oh man! I, I I didn't read Planet Hulk, and maybe that's what it was, but I I thought he was great. I thought I thought he was fun. You know who I didn't like? I didn't like Carl Urban's character, the Executioner Scourge. Yeah, didn't like him at all. Because it's it's pointless. So first of all, like he was in the other movies, right? Well, I, no, no. A Scourge is is was it? A Scourge is basically the bodyguard for um, Enchantress. So what happens in this movie? I'm thinking of Suicide Squad. No, no, no. Marvels and Marvels. Who's Marvels? Enchantress. In? I'm drawing a blank right now. Doesn't matter. I hate magic, guys. I hate magic. Right, he I does hate magic. Hate magic. I, I avoid So what magic. happened is Hella basically makes her him her, him her bodyguard. She doesn't fucking need a bodyguard. So he becomes useless in the movie. Does absolutely nothing till the end where he saves some people to try to redeem himself and it was just pointless with with M16 machine guns that destroy that that were United States issued of earth because in that's also in the beginning of the movie oh. that we missed there's a very important 10 minutes of this wow <laughs> that's where the guns came from we're like where the fuck did these so guns listen, come from listen the movie started at seven o'clock and usually when we go to these movies at seven o'clock the trailers start for like 30 minutes and the actual movie doesn't actually start till 7 30 apparently in this new theater that has a bar and free icy refills they actually start the movies on, on fucking time, time. On so time, yeah. make you aware if you're going to the amc in the Pembroke lakes mall get there on fucking time i know i was like what the fuck's going yeah. on the movie's on yeah. it's Dark. I can't even find my yeah. seat. I was like, "Are they talking? Like, where are the previews? Yeah, I, like I, it's seven twelve. This should uh, be previews." I know. I was so pissed. Right. So, so the guns are destroy. He tries to redeem himself again. Shortcuts. Didn't like them at all. Fair enough. Okay. You know who I really liked? Loki. Valkyrie. I mean, they had to put her in there, right? Because Natalie Portman doesn't want to come around anymore. So you don't have Jane Foster as a love interest for Thor anymore. So they're like, you know, he needs a love interest. Let's give him Valkyrie. Look, good. I hated Jane Foster anyways. I liked her in Thor 1 and Thor 2. I didn't... She. Well, Natalie Portman seems like stuck up, right? No, I like Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but, but Valkyrie was great. First of all, played by Tessa Thompson. She's from Westworld. And you could see her ass if you want to watch Westworld and check her out. And uh, it, she's, she's hot. Um... But uh, uh, she did a great job. I, I was actually, I was crushing. I was crushing every time she was on stage. No, nah, she like, did good. I'm like, eh, Yeah, Valkyrie. she was uh, charismatic. Valkyrie. I actually had no problems with Valkyrie. Yeah. So that was, that was fine. Oh, I like, um, how, do you th how, do you, how do you feel about them explaining the goof up with the uh, Infinity Gauntlet? What do you mean? That, that it was so, like, you know, like, Thanos wears the Infinity Gauntlet, obviously, on his left hand. What, that was a so fake? So the, the gauntlet was right-handed so whoever made the prop fucked up and made the right-handed gauntlet instead of a left-hand gauntlet so when hell is going through there she's like oh this is a fake yeah and that's i guess how marvel retconned their fuck up uh yeah that's smart yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so that was pretty smart yeah she said most of the stuff in there was fake the collect the not the collector his brother the um the grandmaster fucking terrible i mean basically all they said is jeff goldblum we want you to be you and that's th that's just, all we want you to do is read the lines and be you. Again, isn't 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 the collector and the grandmaster? They're both elders, right? Yes. Like this guy didn't know who Thor was. He didn't know who Asgard was. What the fuck is this? So is he not an elder? I don't know. Listen, I mean, when he was DJing and shit, like oh I my, was that like, was oh, so why, bad. Why are you DJing? But I oh. but I will say this, like. Like I did enjoy the quirkiness and backwardsness of that world. I thought it was cool. Like it was it was very odd. Like like when they were playing like like the Willy Wonka, you know, you know, song, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, and like Thor is just like, What the fuck is going on? you know? And then and then he shows up and once you know it, like Loki's already made friends and he's right. he's up at the top and he's hanging with the chicks and eating all the best food. It's like it's 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 classic Loki and it's it, it I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't like I didn't like Loki as an anti hero. 
I liked Loki. I thought Loki did good. I, I like Loki, but as a god, of, he should just be the god of mischief. He's not some anti-hero that's going to, in the end, try to redeem himself. I don't I don't buy it. I don't think he did try to redeem himself. You want to know why he didn't try to redeem himself? Because he stole the Cosmic Cube. Sure. We'll get into that at the end. Okay. Uh, I don't like... Uh, another thing about the whole Hela thing is uh, they kind of just basically said Balder doesn't exist. Balder being... Thor and Loki's brother, who's actually starts Ragnarok. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, dude, listen, again, you can only fit so much into... But, uh, uh, you again, can only fit so much into two episodes. Right, so you don't need Planet Hulk. Maybe you just do a Ragnarok movie, and you don't worry about Hela. Now, my my theories on why they brought in Hela are, are going to be different. I understand. I, I mean, think I know I what mean, they're doing. I mean... Earmuffs. Earmuffs. What? Do this. Be like, uh... I want to hear you go, ah. Uh, don't stop. He's going to say the secret word. I want to hear you say, ah. Uh, just keep going, ah. Uh. The secret word is Balder. Balder is the secret word. Okay. So, um, now I'm completely lost. <laughs> All right, so I, I didn't like, I, I, I think, again, because Marvel's trying to take shortcuts, they could have just done a Ragnarok movie. They didn't have to introduce Hela. They didn't have to go through the whole Scar, Sakar thing, Contest of Champions. Like, they're trying to do too much. Why did you... You don't need the Executioner. Why even include him? Yeah, you know what it is, man? It, but there's shortcuts. Look, and, and here's the thing. You know, like, Thanos... Listen, they, they didn't want the movie to just be like, okay, Hela goes to Asgard, and the whole movie's going to be a war in Asgard of everyone against Hela, and that's the end of the movie. No, so we we're going to take her. Ragnarok, which you know? is supposed to kill all the gods, this giant prof prophecy, and we're going to make it a two-minute thing. I hear you. It's dumb. I hear you. And so here's my theories on Hela, and I don't know if you agree with me. So obviously in the comics, Thanos has a lot, like his love. Which is right? death. Which is death, who he does this for, right? Hela's going to come back in Infinity so War. So what's going to happen is, yeah, yeah, so because death is going to be way too hard for people to, to get on screen, I think what they're doing is using Hela to replace death. And Hell is going to be the love interest of Thanos. I agree 150%. Right. And I think that's where... Again, they're cutting Marvel's cutting corners and dumbing things down for the the main movie going audience. This movie is not for comic book fans. This is for comic book movie fans. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm a comic book fan. I enjoy it. I don't mind changing what I know about the character and and reinventing it and making it one more mainstream for uh for a secular audience and and at the same time you know like giving me a different take it's almost like i'm watching an alternate reality version so and what you did there man what i do secular audience because we're treating you know comics is like our religion no, that's not, <laughs> but it, you know what i mean asshole anyways fuck off but, no i thought that was creative that okay was great but and and so i'm 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 all for seeing it's like an alternate reality Things I'm concerned about is they really did reinvent the character of Thor in oh. this movie. Not only is he a dumbed down jock with a lot more comedic value to it. It's like, you know what it is? It's like the producers and writers saw Chris Hemsworth in the Ghostbusters remake. Yeah. And they're like, Chris, you were yeah. hilarious in yeah. that movie. You were the best thing about it. He was. Can he we, was great. Can we bring some of that into Thor? Right. And Chris is like, sure, mate. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. You know? But see, that's not the part that concerns me. The hammer is gone. Yeah. It's not going to come back. Yeah. Because it was forged in Asgard. Like, it's gone. There's no more hammer. Which means that Thor can no longer fly. Time out. That's not true. And I'll tell you why. First of all, the hammer's gone. Second of all, he's down an eye. So, moving forward, Thor has no hammer, and he has one eye only with an eye patch similar to his father Odin. So all of a sudden, it all also happened in in the in in the story in in Marvel though, where he loses an eye. He has no eye right now. No, no, no. In in future Thor in, in the the God Butcher, he, he was missing an eye, I believe. All right. Well, whatever. So now Thor. Wow. <laughs> super fucking loud. That was super loud. It was really that was loud. super loud. I mean, I, I don't I'm know if the audience off, heard yeah. it, but wow. I'm really... Uh, um, okay, so down an eye, down a hammer, and, and he's raided from Mortal Kombat now. Yeah. Like, did you see when he, like, oh, he flew totally, and did the yeah. spinning move? He was totally raided. I was like, it was like, oh, yeah, guy, yeah, like, like, yeah. like, yeah. like, like, I was ready to say, whoop-dee, yeah. <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> come, come out the bottom of the screen. The, but, but, 
again, the action was great. That fight scene was great. The fight scene was great, but now it's like Thor is no longer Thor. He's now Storm or yeah. Raiden, yeah, however yeah. you want to look at it. Oh. You know, and now moving forward, it's all about his lightning. Yeah. No hammer swinging. Right. No any of this. All about the lightning. Right. Which cool, whatever. But and the hammer is actually very important to the character, to Hugely. him personally, because because he's worthy. When he it loses, when I mean, Thor for the past three years has been or, or two years has been him without the hammer. He lost in the his comics. Hammer yeah. In the comics, and he has his axe, which is yeah, super powerful, which is it, great. It kills Celestials. Right, but but. He's been having a, he's a, a crisis. He's like an alcoholic. For the, yeah, for the two. Yeah, he's an alcoholic. He's like, I'm not worthy. I, because I that's shit. how important the hammer is to him. So yeah. I, going forward, yeah, he's like a magician now. I know. Yeah. No, I, I would, I would say he's Raiden meets Storm. Yeah. Great use of fucking the song, like on that bridge when he turns into the God of Lightning. Oh, that was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, was, what the Led Zeppelin tune? The Zeppelin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was fantastic. The, but, the dude, lightning was like, dude, you on knew point. you knew the song was gonna be in it because it was in the preview. Like, you don't pay for the rights to that song and not put it in the oh, movie. Oh no, yeah, yeah. But you it know? was still. Um, but okay, so we've covered pretty much all the all the all the. Odin's main. death was just lame. Yeah, it turns into fucking some weird gold butterfly dust. Yeah, that was lame. That was lame. It didn't have the emotional impact it did. I mean, him telling both his sons, I love you. So, like, the whole point of Loki, right, is in wanting that acceptance from his father. And, like, in this movie, his father's about to die and tells, I love I love you both, right? And fucking Loki's like, what? And then all of a sudden, hell, they're like, fuck, we're just going to skip over this that, like, means everything. <sighs> Whatever. So fucking stupid. All right. The big guy that pops up at the end, apparently he popped up in the, in the beginning so, of the movie. So, and, 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 Suter. And, we, and, Suter. and Suter. We, we missed it. Yeah, Suter. He destroyed Asgard, but Asgard is not... Just because he city. wanted to destroy Asgard, there's no real reason. Asgard is the people, that which they which they said. Which, listen... That's in the comics. It's in the comics, it is. So, uh, Hela goes to fight him. We never see her die. I think we can agree she's going to come back in Avengers Infinity War, and she's going to be... By Thanos' side throughout the whole way, yeah. and Thanos is going to be like trying to fuck her the whole time. Right. She, um, yeah. Well, please, her. Loki took the cosmic cube. I think that's fair to say. That's, yeah, and easy. I think it's fair to say the big ship that we saw in the cutscene is Thanos', is Thanos ship. ship. Yeah. He was drawn to them because he wanted to collect the soul the, gem. The, the the is that the soul gem? Soul gem. The soul gem, which is in the cosmic cube. Space the, gem. The, space gem. Right, Space Gem. Space Gem. Okay, the, the Tesseract. Mm -hmm. So does Thanos have all the gems now? With no, the exception of Vision. They're missing one. They're missing one. They're missing one. So we'll probably see it in Black Panther. Maybe. We have to. Unless it pops up in Avengers Infinity War. Because I heard rumors, like some people rumor that it's what actually powers the Eternal Flame that we saw in, in Asgard, but I don't I don't buy it. Really? Yeah, hello. I don't. I don't buy that at all. I I don't buy that either. Um, okay, so what's moving forward? Here's here's what I think. If you guys read Siege, yeah, all right, Thor comes back because Asgard got destroyed in the comic books. Odin died. All that stuff like that, similar to what we saw in Thor three. Right. And all of a sudden, Asgard reappears uh, in the middle of Kansas. Yeah. And it becomes this huge thing where the government goes against Asgard and blah, blah, and hence the story Siege and the sentries in it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, and so everyone's going, all the Asgardians are going to Earth, and it's going to be like a play on Siege. Um, Loki had the Cosmic Cube. We're going to see that get fucked up, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then Avengers Infinity War, you know, after Black Panther. I, I really hope that this isn't the first step in Marvel's dumbing down of of uh, of Marvel characters. Now, you know what I think it is? I think this was Marvel's last movie of joy and happiness and fun. I think Black Panther's going to be very serious. I think there'll be some tones of comedy, but for the most part, it's going to be very serious. The content is, 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 is means a lot to a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. So Marvel's going to play this one smart. They're not going to try to dumb down anything. They're going to make it serious and badass. I think Avengers Infinity War is going to be the darkest movie yet. I think, I personally think everyone's going to die in this movie. I think everybody's going to die in this movie. And then in part two of Infinity War, 
uh, a certain number of them will be resurrected through the power of one of the stones or whatever it is. But we're going to see some deaths. I think that cut scene we saw of Tony Stark in Avengers, I think it was, or or, or Iron Man 2 or whatever uh -huh. it was, when, when Tony Stark saw like the shattered shield and, and Hulk was dead and everyone was dead and Tony Stark's like, it's all my fault. Yeah. I think that's going to happen in Avengers Infinity War. I think they're all going to die. And I think... Marvel Studios is going to pick and choose who the who comes out alive for the next right, phase. for the next phase, and yeah. and, and that's where uh, I mean, we've been theorizing this for years. That's the way they're going to get rid of Chris Evans as Captain America, more than likely. Um, Hawkeye his contracts are, are are up. Black yeah. Widow. Um, Black Widow is probably going to go that way too. Um, just people that they're not no longer going to continue with just because of contracts. This is going to going to be a good way to wipe the field. Maybe even um, Tony. I could be even Tony, and maybe Tony will, will appear as an AI like he does in yeah, the comics yeah. right now. Yeah, but you know, yeah. so so I think that's so we'll you're hear right. his, So he may not look the part anymore because he's aging, but we'll hear his voice. He'll be the new Jarvis. Yeah. And, and this is why in Avengers, yeah. I think in Avengers two, it's going to spotlight some of the the new phase characters like Doctor Strange, Black Panthers, the ones that we know are going to be going forward. They're going to yeah. basically be the new Avengers. Yeah, totally right. Um, one other thing about the movie, um, any the, so there were I'm, there there's Easter eggs in all Marvel movies. Uh, one of the only ones I caught was outside the Coliseum. Beta Ray Bill. Uh, Beta Ray Bill. They had his uh, yeah. his uh, image up there. I didn't recognize the other characters on the totem. Uh, neither did I. Oh, Ares? There's Ares. Okay. Uh, and on the bottom, there was Man-Thing. Man-Thing. Man Man-Thing, Ares, and Be Beta, Beta Ray, Ray Bill. Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So uh, that was really cool. I yeah. thought that was really neat. I really like the contest of champions and emerging. It, it, it's not content that's worthy of its own movie. Right. You know, uh, and, you know, Planet Hulk, like you said, they can never make a, a, a standalone movie. So just throw it in there, you know. As but, you know, at the, at the end, what I feel like about this movie, and I think this will sum up my feelings for the movie, this felt like an episode, a TV episode of the Avengers. It did not feel like a Thor movie. It was minor. It wasn't relevant. I mean, listen, they didn't, they didn't give the events the gro like. Listen, I think I think Marvel movies moving forward are going to be oversaturated with their characters. Look at Civil War. That was essentially Avengers two point five. Yeah, you know what I mean. That wasn't a Captain America movie. Right. No way. Right. You know. So you know, and you know, it did, but what I mean is, it didn't feel like big. Like they're so about, and it I didn't understand. Feel big? No, no. What I mean is, it didn't feel like it was consequential. Like. I understand that they're looking forward towards the Infinity Gem, the war, right? I understand that Thanos is a big deal, but it, it felt like Ragnarok, Ragnarok didn't matter. Mm. Like, it felt like a lot of this stuff was just... And, and again, I think it's, it's exemplified by the death of the Warriors 3. It's just like, we just need to get through this. Yeah. 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 And for the interest of time. I'm glad the movie wasn't three hours. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So, anyways, go see Thor Ragnarok. It's in Or theaters. don't. Um, I think it's the best of the three four, Thor movies so far. I agree. Far. Um, Justice League is next up on the roster. No. Fingers crossed. Big fingers crossed on that one. Man. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, we gave you the secret word. If you weren't paying attention, go back and listen. Uh, remember, come into either one of our shops in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just East University, or in Miami on 107th and 8th Street, across from FIU. That's Corker Comics. First five people with the secret word get a free gift on us. Um, and uh, thank you again to everyone that subscribed to our channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Spread the word so we can just, uh, you know. Get me free shit. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, for Fat Man and Little Boy, uh, Tom and Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. All right, take care.